What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another twin motion tutorial for you. So in the last video we talked about different ways to add trees and vegetation to your model and I kind of talked about um, having a tip for creating or adding grass um, properly inside of your twin motion rendering. So I thought I'd show you a quick easy way to add that accurate grass in those renderings. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so for this video, we're going to use a 3D warehouse model. So this is the Modern House number one by Hirzy HH. So if you want to download this and follow along, you definitely can. And so one of the things about exporting a model like this to Twin Motion is it can get a little bit tricky adding grass to your renderings. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this over into Twin Motion. And so if we take a look at this, you can see how our model gets brought into Twin Motion. And so one of the things that we want to do is we want to add 3D grass on this face right here. So you can see how the grass material has been applied to this face. Well the problem with this at the moment is that if we try to add grass using just the paint tool, so if we go into vegetation and landscape, grass and flowers, and let's say we just try to put this lawn material in here. So if we just wanted to paint this lawn material in here we would use the vegetation tool. Drag this in here and then we would try to paint it. And so probably what we would do in this situation is we would make the diameter smaller. I would probably leave my density at 100% and I would try to paint this grass in here, which is fine. This works just fine. The problem is very quickly, you start running into this issue where your grass runs over all of your borders. And so when your grass runs over all of your borders, it gets really hard to um, make this grass just go where it's supposed to go. And so they do have this border border grass material that you can try to use. So you can drag in your borders and this does a better job of placing these along the edges, but it's still really easy to get this to kind of overlap onto this face. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into our SketchUp model really quick and we're gonna use a little trick in order to make this a little bit easier. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start a new scene just so that you can see how this is going to work. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into our SketchUp model. We're gonna isolate this grass by putting it in a group. So the way that's gonna work is we're just gonna come in here and notice that I've double clicked inside of this group. I'm just gonna double click on this face, right click on it, and I'm gonna click on the button for make group. And so when you make a group, you can see how this gets added inside of your outliner. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and right click on this and click on rename. And I'm just gonna call this grass material and actually, I'm gonna create a second one for the material over here because it's a different kind of grass. So for this one, I'm gonna right click on it, or I'm gonna double click, right click on it and make it a group. And we'll call this grass material for weeds. What we've done is we've now created a group inside of our model hierarchy for our grass material, as well as a group for our weed material over here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export this to Twin Motion again. Notice that I'm starting a new, um, a new project over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the direct link function. And before you do this, you wanna go into your settings and you wanna make sure that you set your collapse to none. So if you set your collapse to material, what this is gonna do is this is gonna collapse your model hierarchy based on the materials inside of your model. You don't necessarily want that. What you want instead is you want to collapse none and then that will bring in your whole model hierarchy from your outliner. And then we're gonna go ahead and check these boxes right here. And we're gonna click on, you can click on save as defaults if you want to. And then we're just gonna click on this button right here to see in twin motion. And so I'm gonna click on the button for new project and click on okay. So you can see how what this does is it synchronizes our models. Um, it imports the model that we have into twin motion. Well now, if we come in here and on the right hand side we type in grass, you can see how this does a search inside of our model hierarchy, you can find the two different grass materials. So you can see how this one right here is my grass material that was right here. And then I also have my grass material for weeds off to the side. Well, remember how before when we painted over these, what happened with these is we had overlap between this and this. Well, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to right click on our grass material. We're gonna go down to the option for isolate. And so what isolate is gonna do is that's gonna make this so we can only see this one material inside of Twin Motion. Well, now what that means is when we paint our vegetation, so if we go down here and select our grass for our lawn, 
drop that in here. Now, if we paint this in, we can just paint this over our face, just like this. And there's no other materials turned on for this to go over the edge onto. But you can see how the problem here is this is still overlapping the edges a little bit. So if we turn our isolation back off, you're still gonna get some grass over your edges here. And so what we can do for that is we can isolate this again. And I'm gonna go ahead and erase out this grass that I put in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the border material. So what the border material does is the border material stays inside of your boundaries a lot better. So now if I come in here and I paint this, what you're gonna notice is now I don't have any overlap with my borders in my model. So now you can see how if I was to unisolate my model like this, my grass is now not overlapped on here. And one other trick that you can use when you're doing this is you can also isolate this. I'm gonna turn my diameter um, way down, so maybe to like five feet or something like that. So that it's much smaller. And then you can use this normal lawn material to fill out the inside. So you just have to be a little bit careful that you're not overlapping this. So maybe I'll bring this to like two and a half or something like that. But now I can paint right on the inside it's like this in order to fill this out. And so the other thing you might think about doing is you might think about applying a material that has the same color as this grass material because you don't really want to be focusing on placing all this grass in here and painting all these faces in. What you want to focus on instead is just making sure that you're creating the illusion of grass inside of this shape um, for your rendering. And so the way that we would do that is we would just come into our materials we would look for our ground materials, and under nature, we would try to find something that matches the color of our grass. So you can see how when I drag these different materials in here, um, you can find different ones that match your grass better. Well then, if we exit our isolate, and look at this from like a ways away, most of the gaps that we have in here are covered um, by that grass material in the background. So what you can do is you can create the illusion of this being completely full by just making sure that there's no extra gaps in your grass. So then this can render out without you having to focus too much on this. Obviously there's still some fine tuning you're gonna have to do, but this is an easy way to add grass to your renderings. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're just gonna select this and we're gonna isolate this material, and first of all, I'm gonna place something different on here, like maybe the grassy ground or something like that, one of these other, one of these other options, something that's actually kind of green and grassy. And then we'll just go back into our vegetation settings. And for this one, we're gonna do maybe this dry wild grass or something like that. We'll drop that in here. And then we'll paint over this surface. So we can make this a little bit bigger. And you can paint this wild grass in here. So the only thing I don't like about the wild grass material is, and this is only gonna be a problem up against your wall right here, is there's not a, there's not a borders for your wild grass. So what you might do is you might put a long grass border in here um, for that border. And then just kind of try to intersperse your grass in here a little bit. But you can see how you can use this to add grass by isolating, then you can turn off your isolate. Well, now you have vegetation inside of this square using the isolate trick. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought was as helpful to you. Have you had trouble placing the grass in twin motion? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.